guys, so this is going to be another one of my battle videos. I'm going to be comparing probably one of my probably one of my most favorite nail colors, and that is those muddy purple taupey gray kinds of colors. You guys know which ones I'm talking about. I actually have six bottles of basically the same color, so I wanted to compare them, show you different swatches. I did it from the angle that you guys like, so you can really get a good zoom in close look at each of the colors and the swatches and just how similar they are and if you stay tuned until the end of the video I will be telling you which one out of the six is my very favorite and therefore the one that I will be giving away to a random subscriber. So if you're interested in seeing swatches and a comparison between these polishes, stay tuned. Okay so here is my first three colors. Um, right here, I wish I had like a little pointer, here we go. Okay so this this nail is Sephora by OPI in Metro Chic, this color. And um, this, I think, is the color that just started it all, started this trend, this color. Um, I think it's a cult favorite. I think anyone that owns any polishes from Sephora by OPI most likely has this one in their collection. The next one is Sally Hansen's um, Complete Salon Manicure, and this is in the color Commander in Chic, and it's this color right here. Here are the colors together, and I'll even put the bottles next to one another. So, let me zoom out a little bit. There's the two bottles. Um, these are pretty darn close. Just to give you like a close, close look, um, Sephora's by OPI definitely is a tad darker, but I would say completely the same color base. And then finally, this is China Glaze, and this is in the color Below Deck. And this was actually from their, I think it was their summer, their most recent summer collection. The Anchors Away collection, and I will say that this definitely was the darkest, um, went on the most opaque and the most creamy, like I really could have gotten away with just one coat on this nail um, out of these three, and you could just see, even with two coats, it's a lot darker, but this is definitely the darkest out of the three, and I will again just line them up here for you so you can see the colors. So that's them. So that's my left hand. On my right hand, here's um, probably the most different of the bunch. On my pointer finger here, this is Rimmel's um, Lasting Finish Pro in the color Steel Gray. And this, I think, has been termed a dupe for... OPI's um, Metro Chic, um, but I would say that it's closer to Sally Hansen's Commander in Chic, but definitely in the same color family. Next in the middle is definitely the lightest of the three, and this, thank goodness, I don't really love. This is Max um, Cool Reserve. You can just see how it all settled on the bottom. This was from a limited edition collection. And, like I said, definitely the lightest out of these three and the lightest out of this six overall. So, um, if you put on a third coat, you might be able to get closer, but it's definitely a lighter shade. Really not much more to say about that. And Max paints, um, nail polishes, really aren't the best quality. And then thirdly, we have a nail polish by P2 that was sent to me by a really sweet subscriber. And let's see if we can find a name. Number 208, Rich and Royale. Or Rich and Royal. And this one, I would say, is closest to the China Glaze below deck. You can see the difference in the darkness. Here it is with the Sephora by OPI, Sally Hansen, and China Glaze below deck. So, next darkest to China Glaze below deck. This brand, unfortunately, you can only get in Germany, I believe, so I did want to include it just in case there are some viewers um, 
from Germany that maybe don't have access to some of the other polishes, this could be a dupe for that. So this is the first three. We have Rimmel Steel Gray, um, Max Cool Reserve, and P2 Rich and Royal. And then we have Sephora by OPI in Metro Chic, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Commander in Chic, and China Glaze. Um, <laughs> I keep wanting to call this Breaking Dawn. I have Twilight on the brain. It's below deck. <laughs> um, and I don't think this one is um, available anymore, but it probably is very easy to um, access um, online on like the e-retailers like Trans Design or... Um, 8 to 8 Beauty or even the Beauty Clutch would probably have this color. I don't think it's that hard to find and it was just this past summer if you really want it. But I don't think you really need it if you can deal with it being just a tiny bit darker than the others. There's, as you can see, plenty of other great dupes out there. So again, here are all of the taupey, muddy, purpley gray <laughs> um, nail polishes. So I hope you guys enjoyed those comparison swatches. As for the bottle that I will be giving away, it is going to be a brand new bottle of Sephora by OPI in Metro Chic. I just feel like this is the one that started it all. When it first was released to the market, it was so unique and everyone went crazy. Now it's not so unique anymore, but I think it for me will always remain my favorite type of color. Like this bottle will be always the one that I reach for and I feel like I could get rid of all the ones that I just showed you and just keep this one and I would be completely fine. Um, if I didn't have this one in my collection, I would definitely miss it. So I will be giving this away to a current subscriber. So if you are a subscriber, you are already entered into the giveaway. You don't have to do anything special. I will just choose a random subscriber and private message you for your address and where I can send this to and you will get your own bottle of Metro Chic from Sephora by OPI. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon.